Hi there, guys. Jason here from GetInTheMix.com. We've got uh, Martin Docker here from Pioneer. Come out to show us the brand new Pioneer XDJ1000. It's a multi-platform unit itself. It's designed for use with USB. It's so put your USB stick straight in there. No CD port on the front. This is a new thing from Pioneer now. It's designed more for the digital market more than anything. Because as you probably well know now, not everyone really uses CDs anymore. It's used with record box specifically as well. I'm going to hand you over to Martin. Martin's now going to run you through a few of the basic features and exactly what this bad boy can do. So here we go. So how you doing, Martin? You are right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad, thanks. Not bad. Um, a lot of excitement around these uh, players since we announced them. So I'll just give you a quick run through. Uh, it's the XDJ1000. Um, it doesn't have the, the CDJ prefix because uh, it doesn't play CDs, because as you quite rightly pointed out, it doesn't actually have a disk drive. Um, the main functionality of the XDJ1000 is to play back music files, uh, record box files from your USB device uh, or directly from your laptop if you've got record box uh, loaded onto that as well. Um, it will also control, uh, or it will control Serato in HID mode, um, and that will be coming before Christmas. So that'll be a firmware update before so Christmas. Any, any time code things or anything like that? Exactly that. So you, you'll be able to control Serato um, without having to put the disk in. So again, there isn't a need for the yeah. for the disk drive in this particular unit. Um, the main feature, rather than talking about what it doesn't have, let's talk about what it, what it does have. And, and of course, it's the, uh, it's, it's the full colour screen. So it's the same screen in terms of navigation that you find on the CDJ2000 Nexus and the 900 Nexus, so the, 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 the bigger products. Um, with a few added extras, um, mainly touchscreen functionality that you don't find on the, on the bigger units. Um, so straight away you can see that the... Um, that the information buttons along the top here, which are normally physical buttons on the bigger units, are now actually part of the touchscreen functionality. Um, down the left hand side, you can see you've got your media input selections. So you've got record box, that's if you're uh, using the record box mobile app on your tablet or your, uh, or your smartphone, or if you're directly connecting to your laptop with your record box collection on. Um, you've then got the link button so that's if you've got two players well up to four players actually yeah, together. linked together playing back from the one USB stick so that's how you would navigate the library on, on another player's USB stick um, but of course for today's functionality we've uh, we, we've got the USB um, input selected so we're on USB um, we're gonna have a look at the content on the USB now it, it is a touch screen but it does have limited functionality so you can't scroll through your uh, your collection um, using the touch screen you have to use the uh, the, the rotary pot um, like you do on the other units um, I'm gonna go down to the search option here and I'm gonna hit enter and you can see a QWERTY keyboard appears on the screen now this is uh, this is unique to the XDJ1000 um, and it's 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 a really easy way of finding the particular track that you that you want there um, so for example let's see if we've got some Let's start again from the beginning. Let's see if we got some uh, Calvin Harris, for example. I've put in CL and it's pulled up Calvin Harris just as a as an example. Um, now you can do that on the uh, on the CDJ 2000 Nexus and 900 Nexus, but you you'd appear as an A, B, and C alphabet along the top of the screen there, and then you'd touch the letter that you want to search by. Um, I do find that the, the QWERTY keyboard is much more an intuitive way of, of, of searching for the particular track that you're looking for. Um, but we're going to come out of that. Then you've got all your normal options of searching through your collection. You can search by artist, by album, by track name. Um, the way I like to do it is by playlist. So I've highlighted playlist and on the right hand side here uh, you can see it's giving me a preview of the playlists that are on this particular key. So that way I know I've put the right USB in uh, or not as the case may be. So I'm going to go into my menu of playlists and again I'm searching for my playlist on the left hand side but on the right hand side I'm getting a preview of the particular tracks that are in that playlist. Hit enter so I'm now in my October 14 playlist and I'm going to search through that. You can see it's all instantaneous as well because everything's been analysed in Rekordbox and you get your album artwork and all your ID3 tags. Um, so let's go for Candlelight, that's the one that's loading in already but I'm going to stick it in there. 
um, and instantaneously it's loaded up um, you get your wave zoom um, just like the 2000 Nexus or the 900 Nexus and I can zoom right into that or I can zoom out to give me a, a, a more broader picture of the track and along the bottom you've got your full wave data display so that's showing me all the peaks and troughs of the entire track it's also showing me at these points here CBA I've actually got some hot cues input and, uh, and, and memorized so I think now's a good time to, to mention that this will replace the CDJ850 in the lineup. Um, and I think straight away for a similar price, you can see that you're getting a much better screen to navigate your record box files. On the 850 and the 350, the information that you can see on the screen is fairly limited. You can only, on, on the 850, you can only see four lines worth of yeah. information. You don't get the full wave data display. You don't get the wave zoom. It's not a color screen. So I think anybody that's been using Recordbox on the 850 are going to have a much better experience for the same money with this unit for navigating their way around their 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 record box collection on USB. Not to mention the fact you can link it to other players and play back from one memory stick, which you couldn't on the uh, on the on the previous units. Um, so again, uh, replacing physical buttons. You've got your loop mode function, your slip, your quantize, memor memorizing your your queue and loop points or deleting them and calling them up using the arrow keys. You've also got your sync and your master. So all of those are actual physical buttons on the 2000 Nexus and 900 Nexus, which I think if you've got the product installed into a venue, you're probably better off with physical buttons than, than you are a touchscreen, simply because you're going to have people using that equipment that don't actually own it and might not treat it with, 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 as, with as much respect. Um, but I think, um, you know, this, this makes life a lot easier. It, it allows us to minimise the real estate of the unit, giving it a, a little bit more of a, of a compact physical size. Um, so I'm going to press play. And I'm going to press the perform window. And that brings up my hot cue memory, uh, menu. Now if I want to put a hot cue in, I just simply press record and I'm going to press C there, I'm going to press call. Now every time I press C, it's going to jump back to that point. Um, now I put some others in earlier on so you can get the idea. You can basically skip your way around the track and, and remix it live. So. And obviously with the, uh, with the quantize in effect there, you can't actually hit those hot cues out of time. If I disable the quantize, you can see I can do that. If I put quantize on, it won't play them back any more than actually, uh, actually on time. Um, so that's at this point, let's come out of, oh yeah, sorry, while we're in perform mode, you can also skip forward four beats. And again, with the quantize on, you can't hear it skipping forward four beats. I find that quite useful if you're playing a particularly long track. The crowd might be getting a bit bored and you can, you can skip forward to an exciting part of the track uh, without anybody noticing. Um, if I turn quantize off, just an example, you can hear that's much more messy. Um, let's have a look at loop mode. So I press the loop mode on the screen. It brings up my loop parameters. I'm going to make a four beat loop by pressing number four. So a four beat loop. I can chop that down to a two beat loop single, half, and then exit, back to the track. Um, if I press slip, it brings up the slip mode parameters. So basically the difference here is the track will play continuously in the background while I'm messing around with loop in increments here. So if I just... and then the track's playing continuously, so a really good, uh, useful remix function. Um, and BPM counter, as you'd expect on a, on a standard CDJ, all of the other buttons are in exactly the same places that you find on the uh, the other products for higher up in the lineup. So if you're using this at home or at your local gigs, at your local bar residency, when you do get that proper club residency and you're playing on a 2000 Nexus, it's familiar territory. And of course, you'd have prepared all of your, uh, your, your, your library in record box on your USB stick ready to go. XDJ1000 goes on sale uh, end of November, um, £829. 
enjoy it. There you go. Thanks for that, Martin. Right, so obviously, here you go. It's next CJ1000. Get your orders in, because when these do come in, they won't be hanging around for very long. I mean, it's literally state-of-the-art for what it does. Good for home use as well and for more mobile. Get your orders in. Thanks very much, Jason, from gettingthemix.com.